All right, I'm gonna begin. Uh, I know my microphone isn't the best, but it's what you get for ten dollars. Uh, you're not gonna get a lot of game audio. I'm sorry. PS4 doesn't allow me to adjust that. Uh, I'm gonna put this on YouTube probably, or I'm just gonna do this for no reason. We'll see. Uh, I did a test run of this earlier. No one saw that, but so I'm gonna do this for real this time. Most of the same stuff, so let's get started. I'm gonna do this mostly for fun, so I'm not gonna do a lot of like really hard stuff. The mission pack 2 offline mode, all I gotta say is fuck that mode. As I love this game, but I absolutely hate, hate this DLC, even though it's free, which is good, but I don't know, it's just. I feel it's totally unfair. You do a bunch of stuff alone and it gets so much on screen it just freezes the system, so... Anyway. Select the number of players. Uh, this is my character. I'm gonna- I went with the standard ranger. And I always, always use the Goliath. You want that thing in everything you'd like. If you have big monsters or the end boss, which I won't tell you what it is, but you want the Goliath for the end boss, at the very least. That thing is just amazing, because it ha does some of the most damage, and quickly, too. Uh, I also use the, uh... Oh, Lylander, which is one of the most powerful sniper ri rifles, rifles, which is good for taking down Hectors and D-Roys, motherships and Ravagers and stuff like that. I got <clears throat> let's see here there's a lot of weapons you can go with but these are the two I just love to go with there is a sniper rifle more powerful than this one but it only takes one shot this has seven it's only slightly less powerful uh, I thought we had uh, start with why not mission number nine as you can see by my armor, I have over a thousand, which means I played this game quite a bit. So, let's get started. Uh, let's just go normal. Okay. Those motherfuckers right there. Those giant... They will catch you by their web, and no matter what difficulty you're on, they can drain your health pretty fast. So you want to take those other f motherfuckers out pretty quick. They are not nice. Oh. There's one right over there. You know, looking at these things, I think I just now know what it's like to live in Australia. To me, it's a video game. They live it every day. Holy shit. Don't worry about civilians, they can never die. They can fly, but they can never die. They'll get right back up. See, she's fine. I know there's one right over there, somewhere. Now, if they have pink arrows, that means they can join you. You can do commands like this, but it's kind of cumbersome, so I never do it. But you can make them sing. Um, let's see, actually, let's do this. The rate of fire on this thing is really slow, though. See, it's definitely, since it is a sniper rifle, it is a long-distance weapon. Oh, one of those mother- uh, see, one got me. He's right behind that building. Get the health. Alright. Take him out. And don't let these guys grab you. Especially in higher difficulties. They will end you fast. Oh, another one got me. 
You know, I, I was thinking, uh, looking at these giant insects, I wonder if this is the world point of view to Peter Dinklage. Oh, come on, I shouldn't be making short jokes. I'm only an inch taller than, uh, Dana Scully. So I'm pretty short sure myself. Shit. Oh, I'm not doing these. Oh, not done loading. By the way, those red and green drops. There's one way out there, but I'm not going to get it. The armor, uh, the red ones give you health for the next stage and the rest of the game. The more you collect, the better, and you can never have enough of those. As I get caught again. The green gives you weapons, but on lower difficulty. Because it'll give you uh, better weapons. I mean, normal is still pretty easy, so and hard is pretty hard. But if you start on normal and then replay the game on hard, uh, especially if you like, have as much health as I do or more, it still makes the game fun, but it can get really, really hard. Like, I, uh, even on the first mission, if you don't have enough health, you're going to die pretty fast on that. It's I've done it on hard on the first mission. I've tried a couple of the missions on hard. It gets too crazy. I'm going to get some armor. Now, these fuckers aren't as bad as the big, bigger spiders, but if they get in groups, they can still be annoying. Or just do that. They pull you, but they it doesn't drain your health as much. The music on this stage, I know you can't really hear it, but it reminds me so much of Dynasty Warriors music. Enemy's not damaged. Gotta love this gun. And I don't like you. Can never have enough armor. It's also fun, just for fun. You can del del destroy shit. Oh, that's one way down there, big one. The webbing in some of these stages gets really t difficult to destroy. Let's do this. Fuck yeah. Oh. I'm so glad this stage doesn't have the uh, ant hills. I'll do an ant hill stage, a, a light one. Everybody's screaming. You can shoot him, it won't hurt him. Hurt me. <laughs> These ants on like hard and inferno. Not even a shotgun will hurt them. I'll show you in a little bit as soon as I'm done with this mission. Probably should have waited for my teammates, but they're always too slow. Why not? I love the Goliath. Should probably do a Ravager episode or uh, mission. If you want to collect a bunch of this stuff, you want to leave like a couple enemies alive, because then the mission will end. Let's just get one there. Uh, 
there's this fucker left. I love the ragdoll physics in this. And that's the end of this mission. Let's try the first mission on Inferno. I promise you I won't even make it past the first five minutes of this. But it's fun to watch, especially how much damage you take from your own shots. Your, your allies take 100% damage, so if I do this... Oh, didn't hit him. Oh, alright. See, they're under there dead. Can you not destroy buildings in harder difficulties? Oh, you can. Okay, good. I shouldn't be using a sniper rifle on this mission. It's the dumbest thing I can do. On this difficulty. Especially running towards them. Oh, shit. I'm doing better than I thought I would. I'll probably die soon at Doesn't look so bad so far But just wait uh, it, Here we go This is where it gets bad See even though I shot him I am See how much health I lost just on that? This is... I'm in a bad spot. I oh, am. Yeah. <laughs> yep, I'm dead. That's Inferno. Let's retreat. Let's do two more missions, then we'll wrap it up, I guess. Select a mission. Uh, one of my favorites is... Let's see, this is Ravager. The red ants, they pick you up a lot more. Now these Hectors can be pretty much assholes. Unless you have the Goliath and the sniper rifle. Then they're pretty much your bitch. Let's see, there's a few over here. You can see one down there. They later get shields. Oh, how'd I miss that? There's one over here. Or a couple over here. I'm making it look like they're super easy, but when you first play this, they won't be. And when they shoot it... Uh, yeah, that's where it gets trouble. 
It gets to the point you can't see at times. I'm just going to get some of this. For the sake of time, I won't get it all. Like I usually do. The plasma Oh. When they fire that shit, this guy's ready to die. And that smoke. Deploys Eat that shit. Oh Ragdoll. What hit me? Oh that those pla these guys shoot plasma. See it does remind me of uh Starship Troopers a lot. I mean it's basically Starship the Troopers the game, even though they have the giant robots and stuff. But when they shoot that plasma around in the air, it reminds me of the uh, scene in Starship Troopers where they're shooting that shit out in the air up in space and destroying the carrier ships. This blue shit like that. Hi, you walked over me. This is so B-movie, I love it. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. I can't see. I think with that gun he's compensating for something. Okay. Hi. <laughs> I can't tell what's going on. I have no idea what's going on. This will happen a lot in this game. It's shit like this. And I... Where are they coming from? Holy shit. I've never had this trouble before. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't... This is nuts. I've honestly never had this trouble before, much trouble before. Holy shit. This is nuts. I really fucked up somehow. Yep. Just focus one at a time. Holy fuck. You don't want to mess with these <laughs> Hectors. This game does have co-op, right? <laughs> this thing should take so long to reload. Oh my god, I am down to half health. I gotta get over here. Sit. 
Oh, there we go. And now we got a break. Or not. Nope. Fuck. This is really getting annoying. Those two fuckers left. Wow. That's much more than expected. Alright. Let's do a shoot down ravager mission. Select a mission. Well there you go. Select a difficult deploying. So every area is just a big square arena. Anybody's gonna, uh, this is a budget game, so it's not gonna show up the PS4's capabilities by any means. Okay, you want to take these out by sniper rifle. A couple shots or two or three shots. About three, maybe. Oh shit. That thing's down. Um, hate the red ants. Just take out the drones. And I got caught. There we go. Eat shit. This game is so stupid, annoying, and frustrating at times because you can't tell what's going on. But at the same time, you just love the fuck out of it. It's just so stupid that it's so fun. I haven't played the, the 2017 one or the originals on PS2. I think the original was like Monster something or other um, in Japan. 2017 is what we most know as the first one, but it's not. It's actually like the third game, I think. This game adds uh, d different classes. So you got the... Uh, Wing divers here who are light but very agile. The ranger which I'm playing at was the most w balanced, the most boring of the of the bunch. You have the fencer which is basically the tank, and you have another one I forgot what he's called, but he calls in tanks and airstrikes and such. That's the mothership. Oh yeah, I guess I should join them or something. I never really do that. Cause I usually do better by myself. <laughs> Although that last mission probably could have used some help. Yeah, that's what Mission Pack 2 is. So you really need help on those ones. Is that open? I don't think so. No. It is now. 
uh, ants are close by. Damn it. I knew that would happen. Why did I do that? Gotta reload while this ant's eating me. Fuck. Damn it. That's why I hate the red ants. You know, fuck you. Is that thing? Oh shit, it's open. There we go. Cannot tell what's going on. Yep, yeah, I knew. Should have looked out for that. I was looking for a health pack. Oh, those fuckers. I thought I shot you. The rate of fire on that gun is so slow. It's the real downside to it. It can be frustrating in moments like that. But I made my choice. Alright, oh fuck. I'm just gonna shoot that. My whole play style of video games is just Leroy Jenkins everything. Leroy Jenkins! Yep. Injured myself in the process. And... I usually end up in situations like this. Only myself to blame. I cannot shoot. Who help? Looks like I'm by myself again. Reload on this. Oh, I forgot about that. Yep. This is the fencer team. We're going in. Finally, some backup. Yeah, I actually don't do better by myself, I guess. I guess I'm just too impatient of a player. Fucking thing got in the way. Get out of the way. Yeah.
How did I miss that? I don't care. I just want to get rid of him. I can't believe that missed. Well, I guess the backup isn't really that useful when it's way over there. I'm supposed to go get it, but they walk. Slower than a turtle in molasses. But they are in tank, so you get your tropes of each class. That's cool. Almost done with this. And then we'll wrap it up. Yeah, no one joined her today, but I don't blame them. It's for me. It's after one o'clock in the morning. I just felt like doing it, so that's it was bad timing. But I just felt like it. And there we go, mission done. Let's see if we can get this before the mission is over. There we go. Before we go, let's just at least look my battle history.